Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Poshmark pricing strategy and uh, some tips and tricks that I use on Poshmark. So if you'd like to see that, stay tuned. Okay, so I've made this video like 30 times and I'm done. <laughs> so if, I'm just going to have to heavily edit probably because I'm losing my train of thought a lot. All right, so today I just want to kind of go over it. It's going to be pretty quick. Um, my pricing strategy, how I find the prices. Um, first, in order to find a price, what I do is I need to know my cost of goods. I need to also know the minimum amount that I'm willing to take for an item. Now, the way that I find the minimum amount that I'm willing to take actually helps a lot when it comes to pricing the item. So, um, we're going to use this top as an example. So, I pay $2 for this top. So, it's an ASOS top. Um, it is a size 20. It's a good size. Um, I pay 2 bucks. So, I'm going to say $2 plus $2 because I want to double that plus $5 handling fee. I always add $5 to the items that I'm selling just because I drove my car to whatever stores, I packaged these items, I went to the post office, so on and so on. So I just charge $5 um, to kind of help a little bit. So that right there, um, two plus two plus five is nine. So I know that the minimum amount that I will take for this top is $9. And when I say $9, I don't mean the buyer pays $9. I mean, on Poshmark, the buyer is going to pay $12 or more um, to make sure that I get my $9 in earnings. So that is how I find my minimum price, right? Um, just using this top as an example, I like to end my sales price in the number nine. So what I would do is take the $12, the sales price that I'm wanting, and add another $12 to it. So that's going to give me $24. Now, I like to also end my sales price in the number nine for psychological reasons. You can Google it with pricing, um, the psychology of pricing, number nine, whatever. You'll see. Some of you already know about it, but um, I, I think it's kind of neat, so I just do it. So I would actually, instead of price this at 24, I would price it at either 19 or 29. Given, I'll probably price it 29 just so I can give a larger discount to people who like the item. So that is how I price my items. Now, if it is a more rare item, I'm sorry, I don't know what is going on. I'm going to have to turn my phone off. Um, so if you have an item that sells for a lot more money, that's more rare, that can be a little trickier. Definitely research the items you have. See what they sell for on all platforms, you know. Um, that's going to be one of the biggest ways for you to figure out how to price. All right, so um, what I will do is I will take, like, say I have an item for $59 and then somebody likes that item. I will send them a private bundle offer. So I will go into their bundle. I will add their like, whatever the item is, to the bundle. It's $59. I will send them a private offer of $40 with $4.99 shipping. So that'd be $1.80 off in shipping. Um, that would give me a $30 profit, which is great for me. Um, if they don't bite, when I do um, my, on Thursdays and Fridays, I will do offer to likers the mass the, the mass one where it sends it to everybody and then I will go the next lowest that I will go would be $28 and $1.80 shipping which would give me a $20 profit and most of the time whenever I go to that second round usually somebody bites and they buy it so that's kind of how I do that I think that's like pretty much all I do like I don't like to focus on the Poshmark sold. So with the Poshmark sold, a lot of times you can have, now if you have a, a bunch of the same item and the prices are all about the same and you kind of know, obviously that's about what that item sells for. But if you have like one or two items, you can't always rely on that because it could have been a bundled item. Um, and then of course that's always going to show the original price, not what they actually paid for it. Um, but yeah, I will look up sold comps. 
Um, to find original prices also, what you can do is you could go to Poshmark itself, look up the item, go change it to new with tags, and sometimes the sellers will actually have a picture of the tag, and you'll be like, okay, it's legit, it really sold for this much, and then you'll know exactly how much to put on your original price. So let's just say that this item has been sitting at $12 for a while. Um, obviously, I know $9 is the minimum. That's the lowest that I'm going to go. So I can't price lower. I can't send any offers. If people are, ex are sending me offers for five bucks, I'm not going to accept them. So what I'll do is I will delete this listing. I will relist it at, at a higher price and start the process all over again. And most of the time, that second time around, it sells pretty quickly for a higher price. So that is what I do to price my items. I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was confusing, please feel free, like I said, to comment below. Um, you can contact me on Instagram at Allie Bethany and send me a DM. Um, obviously, um, I don't know, like sometimes I get DMs that are like in the message requests and I don't know if they're old perverts trying to talk to me or if they're actually people from the outside trying, I don't know. So I usually decline those. Um, so if you're going to send me a DM on Instagram, be like YouTube channel or, hey, I'm from YouTube or something, just not, hey, how are you? You know, because that is what a lot of the, um, yeah, those people, those pervert guys, that's what they say. <laughs> but anyway, okay, I hope that was helpful. I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great night. Bye.